welcome along my name is eddie and this is my vlog and today is july the 29th we are heading back to our fields today uh, because we need to move towards our oats um we've got uh yeah we've got a very large field of oats that we uh, we need to get cut uh, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces. Uh, we are very much... Uh, we've got a field of canola that needs cutting as well. So uh, it's it's all go. It's We've got uh, about the uh, next two weeks uh, maybe to get that sorted. Uh, we're then going to be getting into the... Uh, we've got some other crops and things that as we get into august we'll need cutting as well so it's uh it's gonna be quite a long stretch this the field of oats that is gonna take us a while that is that is gonna take uh, a, a good while for us to get that cut so uh i kind of want to crack on with that but at the same time i don't want to leave this straw lying too much especially with the amount of straw we're gonna have to do on the uh, field of oats as well uh, we're gonna take this uh, and yeah we're gonna go and wash our whole combine so our combine we're not looking to use today we want to do a little bit of maintenance make sure that uh, everything is still running smoothly especially after the recent issues we've had uh, but we also want to make sure that we are able to uh, to keep things running smoothly Sorry, I need to concentrate a little bit, obviously, just to get make sure everything is lined up because that is not. So I find when I'm loading the uh, header onto the header trailer, easiest thing is for me to line up uh, with the wheels in the middle. Not all header trailers are, are done like that, uh, but that should allow me to do it. So I'll put the handbrake on and we'll disconnect everything. And we'll just give this a second check. Yeah, that's looking good on this side. It's looking good on the other side. Yeah. So, uh, lower it down and it should just disconnect off. Oh, there we go. Right, handbrake off. Reverse it off. And uh, we're all good. So let's lock it on like so and uh and yeah we'll take this down we'll just give this a wash and then take it over to the field uh just want to turn this off there we go and i used the 11090 for this because i wanted to stretch its legs a little bit we've been using the uh g910 uh sorry g190 um quite a bit recently so i just wanted to sort of uh give this a stretch be a little bit careful it's it's strapped down but i'm always wary uh we want to make sure that uh you know it stays on and we don't want to break anything really is uh, is the big worry i have but we're all right yeah we're okay going through here uh, and i've come this way because it's much easier for me to get this over here and buy our pressure washer and uh yeah it's just worth washing it all out clearing it all out before we uh, move on to the next field oh and just uh just making sure that this is all washed down it's the header is less important than the uh than the combine itself not that it isn't important but uh, it, it tends to be, if we're going to have any issues, if we're going to have uh, with, with dust and, and things and potential fire or anything, uh, then it's the, the main body of the combine you tend to get that. Uh, I, don't, I, I personally don't know of any story or uh, at all where the header has been the cause of a, of a, a combine fire. It's always been the uh, the actual main combine itself, um, and it's it's almost always due to uh, the build up of uh, of dust and 
uh, and 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 dry material on the combine that that causes you know just gets too hot in in all this work and uh, and ends up just flying on fire so uh, we we try to avoid that i i don't wish to i don't want to replace this combine uh, and uh, in my career i've had uh, i've had one fire and that has been one fire too many so there we go right and in there we are maneuver this into here and look at the size of this field of oats this is this is going to be a monumentally big job for this combine but it'll do it it's had i mean this this combine has handled this on this farm before so uh yeah i'm not expecting it to have a massive issue right so we'll turn that off and uh and that is all good now hopefully i've got enough space to get the combine in here because as i said we're gonna wash the combine down uh and then we'll leave the we're gonna leave all this out of the field so this is the other reason why we've got the 110 uh on this job we don't need it for anything else at the moment and uh and it, it should should do this fine now last time i uh i saw yesterday i spoke about this shed here uh, which is where we've currently got our T7, uh, 270 in here with the cedar on. Um, this is this is where I think I'm going to put the telehandler and the telehandler tools. That way, I got I've then got that entire shed uh, available for space, uh, which is what we need. Oh no, I want to go this way because we need to go and get the combine. Speaking of, uh, and we've got the G190. I put it back in the shed last night. It deserved to be under color, uh, under cover. There we go. Right, let's get our combine uh, into uh, round to the other side. So what we're going to do is is all about getting prepared and getting ready for the uh for the harvest to continue tomorrow uh i want to i want to get this combine to be all uh nice and clean and uh, and as i said give it the once over given our recent problems it shouldn't it shouldn't have any issues now but uh, i just want to make sure uh going into the next field uh, that it doesn't and let's pull this up and we can bring this here that will then get washed nicely right we got the uh we got that on let's uh let's give it a wash down nicely cleaning up get all under here make sure that we uh we get anything off the bottoms there uh i want to fully just sort of give it a great wash down looking much much better so obviously it's paints a little bit faded with given the age of it but it's uh looking absolutely grand right now what we can do is go and take that uh we'll take it down here and i'm just gonna fill it up with fuel don't know where fuel gauge is that's all right we'll fill it up it'll be good there we go all filled up let's get uh, back into it and get down the field and then we can head down to the bottom shed and get the uh, get the 190 uh, back up here hooked up to the baler and, uh, and knock these bales out today even if I don't stack them today I want to get them knocked out Back up the farm in the G190 and we're going to take it around the back here because this is where I left the baler last time because uh, it's a really useful place to put the baler uh, especially in relation to this field so let's just back this up there we go 
and connect that up. Connect up our PTO, and that is all good. No cables to go on this. And then we can get it into the field like so and just work our way across hopefully that half row that we had uh while we were harvesting that will fit into things fairly nicely although half rows rarely do let's go and uh make sure we've got the back down yes we have which is brilliant uh nice uh bale on its way through from this as well so starter up drop it down and uh, and yeah we could just blast through this field and while our combine is nicely drying today we'll be ready for uh for the next day having uh bailed and cleared this field and that's in the near future we'll be able to start getting some manure spread which will be absolutely brilliant that will uh, that will make me very happy looks like our half row is going to be on the way back up so uh, what i'm going to do is we i'm going to turn at the at the end of the next row and uh, and come back and get that half row from from halfway up the field and then do it like that we're already up to what five bales yeah five bales off here uh, which is uh, really quite good it's getting longer at the far end but uh, shorter at this end at the moment so it's yeah it's about six and one and a half dozen the other in so far as uh, what's happening with the, the amount of straw on the various bits of this field uh, it's still producing really well I mean five six we must have six bales out the back by this point uh, is uh, is pretty good actually uh, the yield it showed in the yield of this field has still been up uh, we got 21 bales off the headlands here. Uh, if we can get a similar number off here for this, that would be good. I'm not too sure. Uh, we're about, well, we're about a third of that way so far. Uh, do we have, we might, we might get two thirds of that so maybe 14 15 bales off the rest of this field uh, would still be a really good number i mean that is that is still an absolutely cracking number so uh we'll we'll see we'll get them um stacked up today as well uh but yeah g190 is still uh working very very nicely on this and uh doing an absolute being an absolute dream as it always is this tractor i mean this is a good solid tractor this and uh i'm i'm loving it i think it's great we're still thinking about the um still thinking about the possibility of yard tractor uh i just uh that might be useful although the 110 in all fairness uh would fulfill that role uh for to a certain extent uh, it's only other otherwise it's only really used as a spray attractor these days and i think this well i don't want to put too much on the shoulders of this tractor uh if we uh if we can spread the load a little bit that would be good so uh the 110 is uh would make a good little yard tractor maybe as well and uh, and that would make space actually for that t7 in uh to go into the lower shed uh, which we we still need to sort of work things out with that lower shed and uh, and where we're going to put the cedar more than anything else because that is a that's actually a fairly big piece of kit uh, and i have trouble storing it uh, which hence why it's still on the back of the t7 uh, but we're going to need that t7 soon to be working these fields uh, we've got uh, i don't know if that's a direct cedar or not I don't uh, I think it is um, but I uh, I want to make sure that we uh, we do these fields as best we can so uh, yeah can we yeah uh, oh yeah I'm on the lookout now for a manure spreader something of a, a, a decent size especially if I'm going to be doing the oat field with it um, 
but uh, but not so big that I can't do my smaller fields with it as well. So uh, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting hunt for that. We've probably got a month or so before I need to uh, I need to get get that piece of kit and uh, and get using that. We're up to ten bales at this point, and that actually suggests to me that we are going to match the number of bales that we had on the headland. Um, I think my uh, well, my initial uh, estimate of uh, fifteen is definitely low we've been pulling uh, about a bale a row at the moment and yeah so that that really suggests what we're going to see at the bottom end of this field uh, is uh, another 10 bales out of it we're about halfway through really good um you know to, to have 40 odd bales off just this field is brilliant uh it does present maybe an issue for us uh, because if we're doing this well with bales and straw off here uh, We're gonna have a huge amount of straw coming off the uh, the oat field So it's it's I think it's probably gonna be a case of uh, Selling most of the oat straw and keeping the wheat straw uh, the alternative of course is to, to chop uh, the oat straw uh, it's a, it's a resource that we could possibly do with selling, but I'm I'm very concerned about uh, the the time versus profitability of that. We've already surpassed the uh, estimate. We're up to 16 bales on the field. Uh, I would suspect, since I've said that, probably 17 bales on the field. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, we only need four bales off this last little section uh, in order to match what we had off the headlands. And that, that is actually also pretty telling. If we're matching the number of bales, uh, headlands to uh, to the main part of the field, we're, we're probably doing a roughly the right amount of headlands, uh, which is good news. I'm uh, that that makes me uh, particularly happy to see that uh, this looks like it's gonna uh, be pretty good as well on our how we're doing with the up and down yeah we did we dropped another bale there so we've, we've got 17 on the field plus whatever we got on this row uh, oh this is this is gonna be close well no it's not because we got we got two bells on the back there's 18 and is that 19 yeah i think we've got 19 further up the field as well so uh yeah we've done it we've got as many bales off the rest of this field as we had in the first place uh so we're gonna have to go and grab the telehandler get these off this field um because keeping our fields clear mean that we're able to it just opens up my options if i find that uh I, I have the opportunity to, to get a manure spreader. I can get a manure spreader and get in here and uh, and get this field uh, done then. Uh, if I, uh, whereas, you know, if I don't have the bales at the side um, and, uh, and that opportunity arises, then, um, and, and for some reason I can't do something with the combine, you know, I want to be, uh, I want to be available to be able to do that, so. But we've got a uh, we've got our couple of days, I think, in that oak field now. Just uh, just getting that out, and then uh, and then we're gonna have to bail up. Um, but whether I chop it, I I don't know if I'll chop it or not. We are, I think we've got enough bales off this field to uh, to handle our cows for now. Uh, it's uh, after this. Do we want the oat bales to try and sell? I might. What I'll do actually is I'm going to go away. I'm going to see if I can find a buyer for uh, for them uh, potentially, and uh, and then we will uh, we'll pick that up and uh, and we'll see where we are. There we go. But that has got that done. So there, and I'll push any bales that are in the baler out yeah there we go so we had two more uh, we do have partial bale in there 
that's uh, that is all good I can uh, I can unload that as a pile of straw at some point uh, right but let's go get this off the field I want to actually go and park this up uh, detach the baler because we do not need the baler on this at the moment again we're gonna put it we're gonna put it over here because this is gonna be where it's the most used to us for now uh, plus there's space to park it up over here I'm slowly sort of moving our uh, grass stuff up here it makes a little bit more sense for this equipment to be up here because this is where the majority of our grass fields are Not that uh, it's not also where the majority of our arable fields are. That little shed down there is just um, just a good place for us to put our tractors. <laughs> maybe maybe I should look at consolidating things up at this shed. But uh, I don't know. All right, there we go. Uh, let's leave that tractor there then. And we'll take that back down the bottom later. I want to go and grab the bale spike and the telehandler, which are both in here. Left where I uh, where I left it yesterday. I'm going to go and get those all collected up. Uh, so, drop that off. Already undone the clips. Right, and... They tend to, actually, yeah, these clips, we check them, but uh, that they're, they're automatic clipping ones. So, yeah, that's all good. And that's all attached on that side as well. Right, there we go. Back it out. And we'll head into the field and get our straw bales stacked to the side and stacking them in twos means that we should be able to to transport them out to the field fairly easily as it's a short distance we probably won't load them up onto a trailer uh we'll probably just come into the field grab a couple take them out to stack them in the uh in the rest all right uh so in grab up and uh yeah nice and efficient And stack it up. And it's nice thing about our fields is that we actually have space at the edge of them to stack like this. Uh, if we didn't, uh, then we'd have to, yeah, we'd have to probably not have the Hestons on here. Uh, I'd want an auto stacker or something like that that uh, can easily and quickly pick them up. Uh, but you do, you can go around the field with a tractor and trailer and a flatbed and do it. But it's, uh, I find this uh, a nice, efficient way of doing things. And uh, I can get it all stacked up and uh, out the way. There we go. About halfway through the field, I've opened my cab door because it's absolutely sweltering today. And we have, whoop. And I'm adding an extra block on the uh, the end here. Uh, the reason for that is uh, is because I don't want to extend too far into the field. Uh, so we should be, we should be okay for that. It's uh, it's not too much of an issue. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, there are plenty of bales here. Uh, we are doing very nicely off this field as a result. And uh, I'm going doing a lot of back and forth with our telehandler here. Uh, it's doing the job really well. I've been impressed by this New Holland telehandler. It's uh, it's a cracking piece of kit. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's back off a little bit. There we are. Let's get that in a bit there. And I'm sort of positioning myself to the left. Uh, yeah, to the left of the bale or the right actually I'm, I'm positioning the bale to the left side of my 
uh, spike because uh, it makes it easier for us to um, stack along that edge. Uh, it's also the, the place that I can see the, uh, the most easy or the most easily because uh, I've got the arm in the way the other way. Uh, so we're sending it towards the gateway because of that. And then I'm stacking a bale in front just to make it easier when I'm putting that second bale uh, behind. There we go. Sometimes it gets jammed in the bale. It doesn't want to come out. You've got a lot of pressure on the bottom of it or... Uh, you've, you've got an issue that uh, it, it, it just gets caught on some of the string or something. You, you, yeah, it's not great. But it is always easy to, uh, to try and get ourselves away from. Yeah, most of the string is on the top. It's why, you don't, why I don't try and spike bales in the top. Apart from the fact they're not oriented like that, uh, it's also a case that, uh, yeah, you get caught on the string and things. So try not to do that, obviously. Because if you pull too much of the string off, you end up uh, losing the integrity of the bale. Uh, but it was, uh, let's have a, how many bales have we got left on here? We may fit the rest of them on this row. Quite possibly. Oh, actually, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna be stacking on the front again. There's uh, there's more bales here than we have space for in this rope, so that's good. Uh, so I better get the rest of them picked up then. Our second to last bale, and I'm gonna stack this uh, front in the middle uh, because we've got a load of good stacks already. Uh, this makes uh, 41 bales. Because uh, we've got five stacks of uh, eight here. And, uh, yeah, uh, plus that single bale and just one left on the field. 42 bales. So we have had, had exactly 21 bales off the main body of the field. Um, that is brilliant. That is absolutely perfect. Um, that will keep us going for a long while as well. Oh, that is not on there well enough. It's the thing about get, trying to get efficient and get round here fairly quickly. We want to uh, we want to make sure that the bale is on, but at the same time we want to be uh, not dilly dallying around the field. Uh, but yeah, that's that has cleared our wheat field of straw. We've got the bales uh, all done. Uh, I'm very very happy with this. That. It's brilliant. Uh, we'll be getting on with the oats next time. Uh, yeah, it's getting uh, long in the day now, and I want to uh, I want to make sure we've got everything ready. Uh, I need to do a little bit of work with cows as well. Let's jump back in and turn that off. Uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm uh, I'm very very pleased with that. That's uh, that has gone well today. We are all set up. We are good for tomorrow. We've got a nice sunny day. We can start knocking that headland out uh, on the oats, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take it from there. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.